One of the best ways to become a better copywriter is to get experience writing. Now, where do you start? Well, if you've researched copywriting courses in the past or even coaching, you know the great ones can go for thousands of dollars and the good ones can go for hundreds of dollars. But if you're really curious about becoming a better copywriter, I've actually recently launched a new online training program that's less than $100 and with it is a ton of videos on the skill and art of copywriting. Now, because of the low price, I'm only letting in 100 hungry copywriters before I raise the price, so check out the new training program in the description below. Anyways, let's move on. The job hunt for copywriters has many similarities to other professions, but the places where you look for these jobs might be less obvious. In many cases, clients do not use the term copywriter in their job postings, even if that's what they need. Use this video to unlock the secrets of finding a job postings for copywriters and presenting yourself as the best person for the job. So first, I'm just going to give you some tips for getting copywriting jobs. Before you start googling or looking at job boards, prepare yourself to show clients or agencies what you can actually offer. Offer. We all know the tedium of applying for jobs, and if you're freelancing or reaching out to individual clients, you might have to push through the process more often. So tip number one is just to set goals and expectations. There are many opportunities for copywriters to find work, but you can cut this time applying to your jobs by only focusing on the jobs that you realistically actually want, even if you feel desperate for work. Before you set out on the job hunt, ask yourself some questions. How much interaction do you want to have with your client? How much time do you want to dedicate to your job? And how much money will satisfy your budget and financial goals? Try to keep this stuff in mind when you start applying for copywriting jobs. Tip number two is to get your portfolio ready. Job postings might appear while you're browsing online and they usually get snatched up quick. Just like the law of attraction, when you start learning about copywriting, more opportunities start to appear. Now, they were actually there the whole time, but your brain starts to focus on things that it thinks are relevant. When you see a potential job that you want to apply for, be sure to send in your portfolio and cover letter by the end of the day. One of the best ways to ensure a quick application is to have your portfolio ready to go. Whether you build a website with examples of past posts or you have a handful of links that you can copy and paste into your cover letter, keeping this collection of writing that you've done in the past will make the application process easier. Also, growing your portfolio on Upwork really helps. The first few jobs are the most difficult to get and you might have to do them really cheap. You won't make $1,000 for 1,000 words overnight. Just like any other field, you have to have the background experience and natural skills you get as you progress through practice. Remember, to start small and keep growing. Also, keep this portfolio organized by industry or format. If you send out a bunch of articles about the travel industry to a client that needs web copy about landscaping businesses, they're not going to be interested. Tip number three is that if you don't have any writing samples, you need to just go ahead and start writing. If you're just starting out and you don't have a big portfolio to show potential clients or employers, you might feel nervous about applying because they won't be able to judge you off of your past work. If you want to show people how you write, you need to go ahead and write. It doesn't cost much to set up a blog or a website that shows off your abilities. Write a handful of pieces about maybe a news that you saw on TV. You can even do reviews of products that you use or just tips on topics that you feel you have expertise in. Even if you present these pieces, you can give employers a good idea of how you write and what your final products will be like. Now, let's get on to actually finding copywriting jobs. Use the following resources to find jobs that allow you to write and make a living doing what you absolutely love. Number one is job boards. Traditional job boards like Monster and Indeed will have copywriting positions available. If you're finding it tough to get copywriting jobs, broaden your search to look for jobs in the world of digital and content marketing. Sometimes job positions that require writing and editing skills will be hidden under other names. Alongside copywriter, you might find others as freelance writer or content creator. Try to keep your mind open and be sure to read the requirements of the entire job before you apply. Another place to look is Craigslist. This website has a special section for writing jobs. You can find freelance opportunities and the opportunity to work under an agency and maybe even get more training if you're just starting out in your new career. I definitely suggest giving it a look if you want to be a copywriter. Also, if you're working remotely, be sure to look through different cities, like Los Angeles and Chicago are really good places to start, and just see what else Craigslist has to offer for copywriters and freelancers. Another place to look is freelancing platforms. They're a great place to find hundreds of job postings for short-term and long-term positions. I recommend setting up a profile and you can actually start applying within minutes. Places like Upwork and Freelancer.com are the two main websites, but little places like Fiverr and SEO Clerks are created every day. I personally hire my writers and copywriters from Upwork. Another place you can search is Facebook groups. If you're looking for remote or even freelance jobs, you might be able to get the ball rolling in a Facebook group. Facebook groups are a new way for like-minded professionals to network across the globe. Keep a lookout for groups catered to digital nomads, which is a title given to people who work remotely and they often travel. Copywriting is a top job for digital nomads, and many nomads and entrepreneurs who work in marketing are looking for copywriters and related professionals. If you're like the rest of the globe, you probably spend hours on Facebook anyways. Just add yourself to 
some of these groups and put your social media addiction to good use. And lastly, you can actually bring jobs to you. Many clients who are looking for work won't post an ad or job listing. If you don't have any way for them to find you, you could be missing out on some opportunities. Now, there are two ways you can bring jobs to you. You can set up your own website or you can set up a LinkedIn profile. First, I'm going to talk about building a website. Now, this website does not even have to be too complicated. Even just a landing page or two can tell clients who you are and what you do as a copywriter. You can give examples of your past work in your portfolio and give visitors a new way to contact you directly for rates and more information. More likely, you won't generate hundreds of leads overnight, but at least you'll have something to refer to if you place ads online or give out business cards. You can also use this opportunity as a way to learn more about search engine optimization, something called SEO. Even if your expertise is not in SEO and writing for search engines, you will most likely write for clients who are interested in putting your copy online. Plus, if your website is optimized for search engines, clients who are searching for local copywriters will be much more likely to actually find your website. And the second way is to set up a LinkedIn profile. LinkedIn is a top platform for networking and actually finding jobs. Clients, agencies, and other professionals can use the website to find the right professionals who can help them further their business goals. If you come up in a search for a copywriter or content marketing specialist, they might click into your profile and eventually send you a message. Once you set up your profile, you can let recruiters know that you are open to offers and even search for them yourself. LinkedIn sends regular email updates with jobs that match your preferred locations, titles, and industry. Now I'm going to give you two little tips to apply your knowledge. Number one is to join five Facebook groups for copywriters and job postings. Even if you're not looking for jobs right now, these groups can help you gather resources and even find inspirations to apply in the future. And number two, I really encourage you to set up a basic portfolio online. If a potential client were to search for you by name, or maybe even a generic term like copywriters in my area, what would they see? Would they find you? What could you put together and give them in five minutes? If you enjoyed the information in this video and the applicable steps in this video, consider checking out my copywriting training in the description below while it's still super cheap. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you learned something.